Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aradhyaya. Welcome to the Limitless Brain Lab. I joke and I say I'm a brain plumber, aka a neurologist. We have been talking about a lot of things, particularly the neuroscience for daily life. But today I'm going to bring out some secret which has not been explored. Believe me, the secret which we all have from the childhood from the times that you will remember your parents or your grandparents you have been actually doing that secret hack every single day the hack that i'm talking about today is so simple so easy but for that i want you to go back to the covid days when covid infection happened what happened you lost the sense of smell the smell actually also called the olfactory system when the olfaction happens or when you smell something it is directly connected to your limbic system the connections and then to your prefrontal cortex it is the shortest path to go to your limbic and to your prefrontal cortex shortest path which what do i mean when i say that smelling something can quickly change your mood smelling something can quickly bring out memories i also i have been grown up in gujarat so when the um, uh, kite season is there you know when you are doing the kite suddenly the smell of all those still good things that come to you remember all the things that you have been done doing over the time how smell plays a fundamental important role to bring those emotions out I was just reading the statistics and the data which was showing that they are now preparing dogs you know and dogs of course have a superior power of olfaction and smell as compared to the humans that a dog can actually go around the human and figure out if a person has cancer all when i have cancer or anybody has cancer there is some form of sweat glands which are changing and there is a change of chemical structure so i emit a certain smell which can be picked up by the dogs uh in fact dog can smell really amazing that that's why you see in the bomb squads and all uh the dog now smell is fundamentally changing your brain's chemistry also hence going back to the hack agarbatis incense sticks dhoop i just got hold of some cow organic cow dhoop anything that you do in the morning and specifically remember the times when you know our good old days uh, when our grandparents used to light up the lamp or light up something and it would just smell so beautiful that smell in the morning is ta- calming down toning down your limbic system and it is activating your prefrontal cortex so very very simple looking thing where i would pass it on as why do you need to have fragrances why do you need to burn the incense sticks by the way use everything which is organic use something which is chemical free i mean i i i have known of people also getting cancers and all that don't use any such things but if you use smell which is pure which is organic first thing in the morning or use it as i don't personally like to use the spray although sometimes i have to but use something which is again organic as an essential oil i travel that's the time when i only use it otherwise i don't use it in your everyday life use essential oils the smell of that essential oil or the burning of the uh, essential oil will give rise to calming down of the limbic system now who would have imagined that smell can be such a simple hack if a student is trying to remember some difficult math problem or a difficult science problem light up a scent light up a candle light up a diya let that smell go around if the person wants to remember what was being uh, studied in and let's say in an exam setting automatically through the smell the person will be able to remember the fact smell has a lot of sensory associations even when two people meet there is a sense of smell which is unconsciously or subconsciously passed on in fact in us they also talk about something called smell dating so you just send your smell across and then the dating uh, etc happens so smell has a powerful powerful mechanism by which you convey i mean in animals of course we know that the mating season it's all very powerfully driven by the sense of smell biologically evolution wise all factory system was given that importance because it bypasses most part of the brain and goes on directly to the limbic system and the frontal cortex so for all the people who feel very stressed and you know cannot focus 
very anxious, my suggestion would be to use a very nice, soothing, calming essential oil. For example, lavender, frankincense, there is also sandalwood, anything which is calming, anything which is activating your frontal cortex and deactivating your limbic will be very helpful in your daily life. Keep doing these small, small, small hacks. Be very careful and understand and become aware about your sense of smell. All the neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, anything which is neurodegenerative where the cells are dying, it often starts with the lack or loss of sense of smell. So smell has also been sort of pivotal in understanding something which you can early diagnose and also nip it into the bud. Use smells wisely as well. Scent marketing has also been a common fundamental phenomena. When you enter a mall, you enter a certain place, that smell sort of carries on. Your mood also is directly related to the scent. I've also been experimenting with something called Moodo, where it gives you different senses of smells and then to see how your mood changes. But these are small little hacks which can really be extremely powerful in your everyday life. So going back to the good old days, I love why incense sticks was born, why when you enter into a temple or into a mosque or into any place of worship, even a church, you feel that fragrance going through you, automatically that calmness comes in. The neuroscientific facts are always amazing and very easily doable and applicable. So hang tight with us. Please do share all these little hacks for making your life healthy and uh, staying with us on the channel, continuing this journey together for health and happiness. Thank you so much. Signing off, Dr. Shweta Aratya. If you enjoyed watching this neuro meditation episode, then I invite you to come live on Zoom with us on the 19th of April on the third Saturday where we bring in the entire neuro meditation course. There are seven modules to it and I will be personally leading you through the steps of neuro meditation. What kind of meditation is right for you? how much time you should spend learning it what is the community driving you know so that you can help me i can help you because this is a very important fundamental of meditation it takes a while to learn and it takes a while to remain motivated all of this we will be giving more information in the captions below so i would love to see each of you in our course join soon so that we can meet online on zoom see you then